Hey, what's going on? Mr. Dave here on the Rock Pile. We are on the new job in Del Mar. This is day two and a half and uh, looking pretty good. So let's walk and talk through what we have going on here. So we have uh, cleared out some areas where project parts are going to go, waterfalls are going to go up in the top there and we'll walk over there. We have drilled out our holes. There's going to be small rock right there next to a bigger rock that's going to kind of encapsulate that corner pegboard we have there four sheets they're going to go into that humongous grotto we have there that's really pretty darn cool all i do is i paint the floor establishing the bottom of our rock feature i'm going to epoxy that in and i have four pieces of rebar right around the center point entrance area of our waterfall those are going to be uh, made a sort of a column, structural support column for the whole thing. So that'll be poured solid. These little tubes, if you will. We use a burlap for that and sometimes actually casting tubes. On the back wall, you can see that orangey marking paint. That's going to be the floor that'll come forward, if you will, the spillway coming forward. It's quite a distance from the bottom to the top of that raised bond. So we're going to actually create our boulders on both sides again. And then the waterfall will start up there above where that uh, that uh, shovel is. And we will go ahead and be able to uh, create our uh, waterfall starting point up there. The white hose up there is where the water slide is going to go. And we're going to have some rock stuff on the side, as you may have seen in other um, videos. The one in Poway, the new job, uh, the new waterfall, the new <laughs> slide bleh, that we built there. And that had a rock side wall if you will to try and hide the fact that there's a slide there <laughs> over on the right here um, we're gonna have a waterfall coming down that white pipe going there is going to be rerouted back a little there'll be two big rocks there and that'll be a waterfall if you saw the sketch from the first video that showed what was going on that spot over there is going to be the bathtub um, uh, rock feature let's see if we can walk out here and i think my special heavy duty high grade scaffold system is holding good so that's going to be a bathtub rock so there'll be a good two two feet of water in there there'll be a boulder over here we're going to cover up that big block of whatever the heck it is and make a boulder out of that we've got our footings along the back here for our rock work that's going to come up and be sort of the back area if you will of our rock features there'll be a bubbler over here that'll just be sort of a little fountain thing so we're gonna have to plumb all the way over to here to get that feature they'll be valving to make it functional and these are all this strange river rock that was just pushed into a mortar <coughs> mix they did a little rebar and then poured a base and then they put chicken wire down and added river rocks in there and we pile them up there we're gonna put those in our fake rocks and get rid of them bye bye so here's the slide you can kind of see where we're aiming for it's gonna have a nice big curve as opposed to a straight shot and then a curve which is a little surprising for the rider so we don't want to we don't want that we want a nice even pathway for the rider to take to be able to know what's going on um, top areas here we have rot, all the rebar sort of stubbed out it's not epoxied in yet but we lay in the pieces to make sure we have enough and then when we're ready to start epoxying we just pull them out put the epoxy in and put our rebar back into the concrete area and uh, so we're gonna have steps and stairs around the starting area that will carry people up and then they'll have sort of a platform and then a starting point it'll drop down and then sort of smooth out a level level off a little bit with this nice even pitch they have on the slope here which is gonna be really really cool and uh, so as I step forward across the great breach um, Got a nice big pool here with lots of cool opportunities to make some fun things. That grotto's just taking that space. Wherever you have a lagoon pool and you have a pop out, a clover leaf, this one's a nice mild little curve. We're just encasing that. So on the front of it, it really doesn't even look like there's a feature there because uh, upon viewing, you can't tell there's actually a backward cut area there. Um, so that is going to be pretty awesome possum. And the red little dots on the ground, the orangey red. Those are pieces of rebar they're sticking up. And so we're gonna probably use those. We'll put some horizontal rebars in there and we're gonna cut a grid in here. Again, this is the footing for our rocks that are gonna come out and be the backstop. There's gonna be a raised uh, platform, not platform, a deck area here. There already was one, but it was kind of funky. So they're demo they demoed that out. They're gonna have a beautiful sunken 
fire pit area over here with a gas line that's over there. And again, we used the gas line to actually put in our pipe for our new pump. They're going to add a new pump. And we also have the existing pump that was running the water feature before. And we capped off the, the three or four, three out of the four um, bubblers that it just came out of and welled up and went down this strange, bizarre river rock creation. It was very strange. So anyway, Mr. Dave here on the rock pile. I uh, hope you are managing your ship, t uh, leading your band, and uh, running your own show the way you want. And if you're not, uh, keep trying to puzzle through whatever it is that gets in your way of uh, making the life you want to live and uh, not maybe someone else wants to live. Or our old past boogeyman and problems and dysfunction that we seem to all get some, some degrees of and some a lot more. Um, so yeah, you're the captain of your own ship, the leader of your band, you're the composer of your own symphony. Never forget that. Uh, and don't let someone else take control of that. Uh, and uh, you'll have a better life if you start realizing the power is in your own hands, as they say. So anyways, remember to be thankful and forgiving. Those are the two things that if we get really good at that, we will be awesome and we will be a blessing and not a curse to those in our lives and uh, the people we come across. So. Uh, yeah, good things to keep track of. If you want to learn how we do this, you can go to davehenderson.podia.com. Davehenderson.podia, P-O-D-I-A. And I've got uh, free um, content you can download, PDF files. There's some videos there you can watch that are pretty cool. And some little courses. And then I've got the Granddaddy course that uh, covers everything, making a $17,000 uh, waterfall slide feature. And uh, that thing, really, I stuffed everything in there I could possibly think of on how to do what I do. So, anyways, uh, blogs and links are at www.daverhenderson.com. DaveRHenderson.com. And uh, remember, if you go to YouTube and this is or this is on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. So, anyways, hope you're having a good day. Until next time, God bless you guys. And we will see you soon. Bye.